Hi, welcome back to Building a House from Trees. Um, this week's episode, sorry there's been a couple weeks off. Um, I've been building a yurt for a local elementary school for um, kind of a, a friend, the friend who found those kittens for me. Um, and that's taken up some time, it's taken me off this job a little. I know I said I was retired, but this is a little special project. Plus, I don't know, there's stuff coming down the line. You know, you know how it is. Anyway, um, I've been doing a lot of random stuff around here that I haven't filmed a lot of. It's been like duct work, you know? Who, who wants to watch me do duct work? No, nobody, at least that's what I thought. So I didn't really film much of it. Um, I didn't know how to do it. Um, if it, it's fine, it's just kind of menial. It's just drilling like massive, drilling massive holes in you know blocking and stuff like that. it's just miserable, kind of miserable stuff and taping like putting together ducting which sucks and taping it together. But you know installing the HRV, the heat recovery ventilator because the house is so tight and soon to be immensely insulated. Um, I got the wood stove in. Uh, in this video, I'm going to include the plumbing. This is basically kind of all I got. I got random tids and bits here and a little bit of insulation stuff. Um, we're going. Uh, we're getting going uh, on the dense pack insulation. I'm kind of. I'm doing some of the webbing here for the the ceiling in here, and that's that's going pretty well, I guess. Um, it's pretty tight stuff. Not as tight as the poly, but uh, the poly upstairs. I think I'll include some of that in the footage, but. Anyway, um, yeah, lots of odds and ends, a lot of like weird preparation, a lot of weird like blocking things, things that I felt like I needed to make sure I just had to double check all my wiring and just make sure everything was protected. Because once it's uh, like plumbing, I charged all my water lines to make sure they were not leaking anywhere. Um, when we connected the baseboard and turned on the heat, there were a bunch of PEX joints that I just, you know, hadn't connected for some reason. Uh, I guess I was distracted. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, that I, some of that's on film, some of it isn't, but long and the short of it, it's just been kind of ticky-tacky stuff, and um, I've also been off-site. So anyway, <laughs> it was a long-winded, rambling, babbling conversation, or uh, monologue. Thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the kind comments. As always, the kindest corner of the internet. Um, you've really stumbled into a very nice place so <laughs> i mean the comment section so anyway uh thank you for watching and we'll see you out there you know i say that and i'm not really sure what that means we'll see you out there i mean i guess i occasionally do see you out there but not too often all right this time for real
That is so bizarre. What is that right there? That's a charcoal filter, like the, the particular this? filter? Yeah. So this machine is so efficient that it creates water yeah. in the burn process. That collects in the trap and then comes down to here. These rocks neutralize it. Bring the pH back to neutral. Okay. Because it's acidic or caustic. Wicked caustic, right? It'll eat anything except stainless. Yeah, yeah. So we need to treat it so then you can put it somewhere. Okay, and that can, and I'm going to run that, I intend to run that into my daylight drain that, over there. Yep. Cool. Yeah, so we'll, you can just like run a line up and over and loop right down into it. Does it pump? This pumps, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, that's what that is there. Yeah, this is the whole apparatus. It oh, does it okay. all in one shot. Okay. Which is kind of nice. Too freaking nice. Yeah, I'll have to send you a link to the videos. 